All right, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna show you how you can beat, just try to surpass me. Um, so I'm gonna talk a little weird. I just got my wisdom teeth pulled out, so my cheeks are huge also, but bear with me, I'm still trying to get this out because I see a lot of people struggling and I was struggling really hard and I know how to do it now really easily. So the hardest one's gonna be hard for you and this is the team I was using. This is the team I recommend you use. Just basically you need this yellow Gohan. You need him to die to buff Goku Black like crazy. And then you just need units like Jiren that buff base strike attack. Anything that buff green. So here, if I go here, I think you can see it. Yeah. So you can see he's getting buffed by the Gohan. And when he dies, he'll get buffed by him. Himself, the Jiren, my Goku, the Yamcha, and the Vegeta. They nobody needs to buff defense. All you need is to buff attack. And I recommend using this equip because it does extra damage to hybrid Saiyan, so it's really good. Sorry about that. So, this is the team I use for hard. Now, hard's gonna be the hardest one you have to do. Um, beating with them and blue character, you can do the same exact thing as this team, but instead of Goku Black, use Trunks here and just use all blue units here. But other than that, that's for the blue and the Dragon Ball Saga, you can just throw in. Um, a kid Goku and just bring him and don't use him at all just let him sit there and die and then you can do the Dragon Ball Saga but the damage with the Rising Rush is easy the clear with the Rising Rush is easy the hardest thing is going to be clear with the 90 counts you just got to keep trying with this team and you will do it I promise but now for Scream it's the same exact thing use this exact same team and we're going to do it without Rising Rush here and then we'll do it without Dragon Ball Saga or with a Dragon Ball Saga after you can actually do it with both here so I'll just show you how you can do it with both so all I'm going to see is who's buffing me the least. Alright, so that's all we have to see. So he gives me 30% to strike, 24 to strike and blast, 25 to strike and blast, and just 25 to blast. So I'm going to take off Vegeta here. I'm going to go to Dragon Ball Saga. And since I got locked to see, I want somebody to die right away. So this is how confident I am. I'm going to do this. Alright, this is what we're going to do. Alright, so let's restart. So, to do the Dragon Ball Saga mission, because you have to do Dragon Ball Saga mission, as you see, you use any Dragon Ball Saga character. I'm literally using my weakest one because I wanted to die right away. So all I'm using, I'll show you. I'm going to bring Tao, bring Gohan, and bring Goku Black. That's just for the mission. Without this mission, you don't need a Dragon Ball character. All you need is the, yellow, the original team I showed you. So let's do it on camera, and I'll prove to you that you can do it easily. The first thing you want to do, you, you normally just want to do this, right? But since we're doing the Dragon Ball Saga mission, I'm also going to bring him. And I'll just let him die right away. Now, don't do this, obviously, if you want timer counts. This is only good because I need the mission, and I'm going to do this without a Rising Rush. Hopefully. Doing it without a Rising Rush is a little more challenging. So what you're going to do is this, right? You're going to let him die right away. Now, since I'm doing Dragon Ball Saga, I'm going to also let him die right away. Right, so now, you have Goku Black. So you want to dodge the first one. Always do a Key Blast here. And do a little float step. Now, the way you do a float step is you just drag forward. And it's easiest with Goku Black. Because the second your key goes back up like that, you just attack. So I'm going to transform here. I'm attacking him. All you do is this. You just walk forward until your key goes back up and attack because they can't do anything and you can infinitely do this to them. You see it just keeps going and Goku Black has really good card draw speed and key recovery so it's easy. Just keep doing this and if I didn't get a card, boom, green card, key blast. Forward, recovered key, go. Keep going, recover key, go. You can even wait longer than this but just to be careful I'm just doing this. Whenever you recover key just press an attack. The only person you really have to worry about is Broly, because he has blast armor. So here I don't have enough key, but go. Yeah. Ability. Normally you shouldn't do that, I'm messing up a little bit, because I was trying to explain it, but you can wait even that long. Like, you can wait a lot longer. Now, once you break, you need to dodge into a key blast. Key blast has to be like that, otherwise you're going to die. Now, if you're doing this with a rising rush or you need timer counts, obviously you can drag, uh, you can uh, rising rush anybody. 
I recommend Rising Rush in this Frieza because he is the most annoying unit to deal with because he just paralyzes and stuff all the time. But you see how much Vanish Gouge you recover and how much key you recover when you do this? So now here, I have a Key Blast card so I'm fine. So I'm just going to dodge. Key Blast. Go forward. Keep going. I actually comboed it there. It's messing up. Keep going. So basically this doesn't do any scale damage because it's resetting every time. You get your Vanish Gouge back really, really fast. And you get your key back really, really fast. This is definitely the best method to do it, and you see you just keep going. Basically, you're just infinitely destroying them with Goku Black. What just happened? Oh, my Siri activated, my bad. Let's kill him here. No, I don't have the Key Blast card in my hand, right? Oh, I do, never mind. Okay, we're good. So now you're going to dodge, Key Blast. Key Blast. Pull up. Key Blast. And just try to use equips that only help with damage because you don't care about taking damage you're not supposed to get hit now eventually you may get hit if you mess up you're gonna get hit and you have to make it to that burly hits you otherwise you're dead like here so i'm i'm good right now i don't know if i'm gonna get hit this run but you can just keep trying if you get hit but here i don't have a vanishing gouge anymore right so now what do i do i'm gonna take this and i lost so there's a little glitch you can do here too close app Reopen it. Now, normally, I'm going to say you don't have to do this because I can use a Rising Rush here, right? Or I can tap. But since I'm not at a Vanishing Gouge because I killed them too fast, which happens. I'll show you what you can do. So just close up and redo it. Now, normally, you can just try it again. But since I want to just show this is possible, I'm going to do it on video like this. Because I want to do my Dragon Ball Saga mission. I might actually just use a Rising Rush here. And I can just do it normally easier. So you see, you're going to spawn in exactly how you just left. Right. So I should be facing Go fighting Gogeta. And you see, he one-shot me because he's strong. Plus, I only have a three-star Goku Black. If you have a stronger Goku Black, this is way easier. Oh, I actually got my Vanish Gouge back. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm an idiot. All right, so now that I know exactly what he's going to do, because I closed up, and I see that he, he he's going to do a blue card, right? So I'm just going to Rising Rush right away. I'm just going to spam Rising Rush. And I don't know, I may get hit by this and I may die. And if I die again, I'm going to restart because I may be in an infinite loop of dying because he got a blue card, which is unlucky for me. Um, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. They don't always do the same thing, so. Yeah, see? There you go. So now, this is obviously, this is just going to be my Dragon Ball Saga mission. Um, I'll do it without a Rising Rush after this. It is hard to do without a Rising Rush, I'm not gonna lie. Although, I guess, you know what? You know you know what you can do? I have a plan. Without the Rising Rush, you can actually keep another character alive. Just so you can dodge. Because, all you see, like, I don't even have a dodge here. Like, I'm actually kind of screwed. Oh, I got lucky. I got really lucky that he didn't do anything there. And he just tapped. I just tapped. That, like, sometimes you have to retry and get lucky like that. But, I got really lucky there. Yeah, so you're just gonna do this. And this may actually have cleared it in the counts also for this. Scream is a lot easier than hard. And that's it, that's the mission done. See, so that's my Dragon Ball Saga mission done. Easy. Just like that. Not hard at all. It's literally only a three star Goku Black. If you have a higher star Goku Black, this is cake. This is way easier with better stars. So, no Dragon Ball Saga mission. Now let's do it without Rising Rush. So the way I'm going to do without Rising Rush personally is like this. I'm going to use the team that I did before. And this is the way I'm going to do this without Rising Rush. Mission. So let's get me my, my Vegeta back. Get my Vegeta back. Alright. So, I'm going to bring, just make sure somebody that gives you two strike cards comes with you. Two strike cards, bet. So, since you're not using a rise, and the only reason you don't want to bring an extra character normally is because when you are your own character, your rising rush does the most damage. Now, since I'm not doing a rising rush this run, I don't care about that. So, I'm just going to bring Jiren, just in case I get hit. He can take a hit, he can take a rising rush. If I don't have a vanishing gouge, I can do a quick switch after him and save me. That's all I'm going to do. So still, I'm going to let Gohan die, and I'm going to let Goku Black go to work. Nothing else changes. 
Only thing is I now have an extra dodge and an actually a strike cover change because I got lucky with that. But so here, dodge. I don't have a key blast card, so I have to do this. I also don't have a key blast card. It's annoying. Oh, I got lucky. Normally you don't want to do that. If you don't have the key blast card, you're actually you kind of want to tap and just strike after that and hope you get lucky. I brought extra strike cards just because the float part is easier to do with strike cards because you have to use less key. But, so I'm gonna transform here. Hopefully, I actually drop this. And strike. I didn't drop it at the time. Keep going. Now, honestly, if you can wipe out Frieza, you're good. Like, without a Rising Rush, the hardest person to kill is probably Frieza. Because Broly, you're gonna uh, destroy with Goku Black, even though he has Blast Armor. But you're still gonna destroy him because you're Goku Black and he's blue unit, so. Hopefully he switches in Broly here so I can get some free damage on him actually. Yep, perfect. Then we can basically all get them down to at least one bar and Frieza is halfway dead already. Alright, so I have a key bus card, so we're good. Oh, I have to keep my card. Let's actually do this. I want a strike card here. Nice. Yeah, I don't care that I didn't drop that. It's fine. You don't always have to drop it, but it's usually better because you get more gouge and you get more key. That's actually perfect for me because I can get my full gouge back now. So once you have a vanishing gouge, it's really not a big deal. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so now I'm gonna vanish. Key blast. Oh my god, I got hit. See, I got it. I'm an idiot. Now I need to left here and die. Oh, cool. Now normally, you don't have to do this, but until I can get Goku Black back in, I'm just going to do this. Alright, now Goku Black back in, we can do the method again. That normally you don't want to happen, obviously. Um, I messed up. I missed my, my, my step. That's my fault. That's not even... That wasn't even a method spell. That's just me being bad at the game. You do have to be pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Pulling off a float step isn't the easiest thing in the world. Alright, so I have my gouge back. So, I have a key blast card as well. Broly, attacking. This is the only thing that's hard with timer counts. Is if sometimes they stand there like that. Timer commissions are hard if they do that. Let's use this. Get the key back. Drop this. Nice. You also want to drop this because they have cover changes like that. They have strike cover changes that will destroy you. Alright, I should have Vanishing Gouge. Ooh, just about. Let's see if he doesn't attack right away. Nice. Okay, I got it back. So, Kiba. Pull up. Pull up. Oh, I dropped it. No, no, no. Tap. Thank you. Oh, God. Alright, it's gonna switch into yeah, I didn't want to do that, but that's not. I mean you can see Jiren's not doing nearly as much as Goku Black, and Goku Black's only three stars, my Jiren's seven stars. But you actually don't need this. Like I only have him here because I need an extra evasion. Scared me like that, Frieza. I can kill Frieza, have a vanishing valve, I can dodge, key blast. Nice. Pull up a lot. Now I'm gonna kill. So now, actually, oh strike bet. I got lucky. He didn't do. Oh wait, he did strike. Jiren, 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 Jiren. Come on. No. All right, I can do it, Jiren. I can do it, Jiren. I can do it, Jiren. This is this is actually stressful. This is what's nice about not doing rising rush. Actually, get to bring an extra person. I oh never mind. I guessed it. Okay, we're good. I messed up really bad there though. High key. I think always Gogeta does strike, and so does Broly. I think Frieza does key blast. So. You want to keep that in mind if you're trying to guess it. You can. Alright, I think you're dead here, so I'm just going to do that. Oh, he's not. I'm an idiot. Oh, we're good. Alright, CC. There you go. Don't win no Rising Rush there. And if you use... You can have, like, up to three Rising Rushes, I think, if you're Goku Black. Just because his card draw speed is insane. So, yeah. There you go. All the challenges done. Um, if you guys need help in the comment section, just tell me and I can help you. I can explain to you what I did. But the hardest challenge that's going to be for you is hard. This hard, clear with a 90 count mission, is by far the hardest challenge you do. 
Um, if you want support units, I'll put a list on screen right now of all the green and future insane support units that buff strike and blast. Which is what I was trying to do here. So, like, here. The best example is this guy right here. He is 24% of strike and blast for any element green unit. And this Yamcha does as well. 25% to strike and blast. So they're really helpful. Now, Jiren is good because he does strike and Vegeta does blast. So you want to mix. And this future Gohan actually buffs Goku Black. But the reason you want him to die is because of this ability right here. When he dies, he gives extra strike damage, extra key recovery, extra art draw speed, and extra damage inflicted by future, as well as 40% of strike future. That's why you want your strike hard to be so hard. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Um, if you have any questions in the comments, you can tell me. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've seen a lot of people need help with this, so hopefully it helps some of you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.